here's a great tip for you guys for Final Cut Pro. I get questions all the time about rendering. They tell me, they'll say, man, is there any way that I can work inside Final Cut without having to render? And actually, yes, there is. Of course, you can go to RT and make sure your unlimited RT is on. And as you can see, that will go into real-time mode, and that will cut down on resolution and stuff so you can play back in real time. Everybody knows this little RT trick, so it always exports at full quality. So always have unlimited RT turned on. I'm going to turn it to safe RT as a demonstration here, okay? Because as you can see with unlimited RT on, I have a don't really need the render to get playback here. So we don't want that. I'm going to go back to safe RT to demonstrate this. And when I do that, you can see that goes red. And um, as you can see, this clip here um, doesn't need rendered. Okay? And if we wanted to, we could turn on unlimited RT and add a filter um, to this to make it need rendered. But I'm just going to keep it on safe and use this one how it is. And I'll add a filter to this to demonstrate it. So as you can see, we're here, this little clip here. Now, if I go up, if I select my clip, and I go up to effects, and I add a video filter, and I'll go down to stylize, I don't know. Let's find one that's not really real time. Um, find edges. Okay, now when, you, when I do that, you see it applies that effect. But now when I go to play this, it's unrendered. You get that little blue thing. And what if I want to go in here and say filters? Now here's my amount. You can see I want to adjust my amount. And I want to see what that's going to look like. But I can't see what that's going to look like because every stinking time I adjust this, I have to re-render. If I went in here and hit Command-R and started rendering this video, okay, it's going to render through it like this. I'm going to say cancel. And okay, cool. Now I can go back and see what this is going to look like. But the minute I change the amount, boom, I have to render again to see what it's going to look back like. And I don't want to do that. I want to preview my effects as I'm looking at my video. So um, let's turn the amount way up here like this. So now there's a special little tool in Final Cut. Now also you can hit Option P. And if you hit Option P, it will play it back without audio in slow motion. And this will give you a quick preview of what your film is going to look like with the effect on it. Alt Option P. And that will do a slow motion preview back without audio, okay? And that's one good way to test your effects. I could go in here and adjust my effect and hit Option P and see what it's going to look like. But sometimes you want it to play back in real time. So let's go ahead and up our effect back. Now we're going to go up to the Tools menu and turn on a little tool that's been here since Final Cut Pro 3 that nobody really knows about and it's called Quick View. So let me open this up. Now this is a little video monitor right here. As you can see, I'll put it down here under my effects. It's the same thing we got in our canvas but all we have is a little play range and we can play from 2 seconds up to 10 seconds. Okay, and I want to hit play. And as you can see this is playing back in real time. And I can go up here and adjust Let's get this down here so you can see it. I'll put it over top over here. Now I can go in and adjust this filter in real time as it plays and the preview window will pick that up. If I want to add another effect, let's go to um, bad TV. Turn this off. Now, as you can see, we have some bad TV going on here. Let's take this down. You can see it's the effect is actually I can use it while watching it, and I can't do that with Option P. I have to do the effect, adjust it, then hit Option P and watch it. With this, I can let it play, and I can adjust it. Now, I'm going to turn up my waviness here. Now, you can see it's real wavy, but it's still playing back. Okay? So, this is a perfect way to preview two to ten seconds of your clip to see what your effect adjustments and your effects are going to look like in, in, while the video is playing. Okay. Now, however many filters you have will be dependent on the kind of real time you get back. If I turn back on my find edges, you can see I get a lot better playback because it's a lot less intensive effect than bad TV. But this little preview window here will let you see your work without having to render. And it's better than option P.
okay this is just a quick tip everybody should be using on the tools menu the quick view this is the wonderful wonderful thing okay so let's turn this off and let's give you one more example here as you can see this clip is not rendered and if I play it it's unrendered and if I hit option P it plays back but it's in slow time so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my tools and open my quick view again and now I can I'm going to select a 10 second range and I'm going to play this and now we're playing back and I can go up here my video filters while this is playing back and let's do let's see We've got to select our timeline might help mine it select your timeline in your clip I'm going to add how about line art there we go now that this is active I can go into my line art here my line art and I can adjust as it plays back in real time pretty cool if you ask me this is just a wonderful wonderful thing and you can change the ink color let me change the ink color to blue now you can see we're getting this pretty cool little glow effect here with our line art and we're getting to preview our effect now I can blow this out the threshold out turn the smoothness up or down and I can get this cool effect while previewing what it looks like instead of having to render every single time I hope this helps out a lot guys um, it did me this I use this all the time and it's a secret that I've kept to myself and not shared here until recently because there's a lot of little tricks that um, I keep to myself um, not to be mean or rude or jerky but it's just part of the business and um, it's, it's like that majorly in 3d also you'll have a hard time finding a lot of 3d artists like to share their techniques I don't know why some will without problems and, and some don't like to this is one I've had under my belt for a long time and just never mentioned so I really hope you guys enjoy it um, one more thing I want to show you guys um, there's if you notice there's no specific range that this was planned back and if you want to look at a specific range just go to your timeline and use your I and O keys to make an in and out point and you'll see now it says range end out and this will play back end out in real time now as I can go in here and I can adjust my effects now I got this pretty cool looking effect here um, now this is pretty dependent on your computer and com graphics card um, this is better for a lot of two core machines a lot of the um, older outdated two core machines this would help play back a lot in the graphics industry and 3D industry two cores are gone they're just um, archaic pretty much so um, I hope this tip helps guys and um, we'll see you next time